sound of rock choir rehearsals can be heard right across the country as the members of Britain's largest contemporary choir prepare for the gig of their lives. Founder Caroline Redman Lusher has taken her biggest gamble yet and booked Wembley Arena for an epic singing extravaganza. We invited 10,500 people, but they might not all come. And for her new all male choir, she's upping the stakes. I'm wondering how you would feel about performing as a team on the main stage at Wembley. Will the men hit the high notes or fall flat? I know I'm in charge of it and it's all my idea, but I'm human as well and I'm scared. <laughs> End of last term, the Farnham Teen Choir secured their place at Wembley Arena. I think it's a yes for Wembley. And teen star Rachel was whisked off to Abbey Road Studios to record her solo for the Rock Choir album. Rachel! I definitely feel I'm a step closer to the dream. I mean, I'm at Abbey Road Studios. How much closer can you get, really? Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air. She's got a really good voice. I know. Yeah, I can count on you. That's nice. Sometimes I feel like saying, Lord, I just don't care. Do you got the love I need to see me through? Thank you. It's a great job. Well done. <laughs> but all the excitement has put an added strain on Rachel's health. I'm going to the hospital to have an ECG fitted. My heart's been beating really abnormally over the past four or five months now. And sometimes it can get really, really, really bad and breathing can be difficult. Rachel has a heart condition called vasovagal syndrome. This means she can black out when under pressure. So that she can keep a check on her heart, Rachel is getting a monitor fitted. I don't want to accidentally bring it on myself, if that makes sense. You know, because these things can be triggered by, you know, just by overthinking things. And I don't want to go, what if it happens, what if it happens, what if it happens, and then let it happen. I'm going to be at Wembley. I want to do a good job if I'm there but I'm there and I'm gonna have fun when I'm there. It's early April, and at Rock Choir HQ, the team are working hard to prepare for Wembley. Tickets are finally beginning to sell. I think I've done the least of anyone because About I'm 10. a bit slower. <laughs> More than 10 and less than a thousand. I have got a good system. I will be positive about this situation and I haven't torn off the wrong bits on any of the tickets so far, which but is But we have sellotape if you do. Perfect. <laughs> There's a sense now that we are approaching big day and everyone's very excited and it's a very positive atmosphere and it's frantic at the same time. Right. I actually woke up literally in a cold sweat the other morning. I'm having my usual, you know, dreams and nightmares about all sorts of things, so um, I'll be pleased to have a proper night's sleep. One of the many things keeping Caroline awake at night is the dance routine for Chain Reaction, a new song especially for Wembley. She's particularly concerned about how the men will react to the moves. Right, and bounce, now change. Bounce on the inside hip, push out, change in. Now swing out with a clip. And drop the inside arm from the hip, okay. Now, guys. That was the bit I was worried about. <laughs> On behalf of possibly a thousand other men that will end up doing this routine, how you feeling? I feel liberated. So he feels pretty liberated. Jim, you're just feeling lucky today, so aren't you? Liberated. Liberating. Despite the Farnham men's upbeat reaction, it's tough being a man in rock choir. Only 4% of Rock Choir's members are men. Since I was a youngster, I came to know that you was the only way to go, so I had to Adored by his chorus of female admirers, 28-year-old Ryan is one of only five men in his choir. Because all I know was that I'm down with G-O-D. You down with G-O-D? Yeah, you know me! 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 
was nice to be one of the few men there. I think he's the well in hottie, definitely. Yes, he's the hottie. Nice just to, to have friendly faces um, paying you some attention. Ryan, Ryan's Ryan. awesome when he does his rap. I know he can sing as well. Yes. Yes. Despite the groupies, Ryan does occasionally feel the pressure of being in the minority. You know, it's nice to have a bit of eye candy. Yeah, I'm looking for a girlfriend at the moment, but at the moment, I am single. That's all I'm saying. Lots of women in the choir lust after him. I'm not one of them, obviously. But um, <laughs> lots of... <laughs> to give Ryan and the other male rockers a bigger voice, Caroline's decided to start up a special boys-only session. We're constantly attracting women to rock choir, which is fantastic. But actually, the guys kind of get left out a little bit because there's kind of 4% are, are, are male. And it's really, it was really to kind of see if there were more men out there who were just perhaps a bit more shy, who would prefer to do a one-off type of session with us just to see um, if they like singing and, and wanted to kind of work on more of a male kind of a song. This is only the second time that the male choir have met up. Are you musical? Um, I, I do sing. The men are made up from the southern choirs and boosted by husbands and boyfriends of Rock Choir's female contingent. So are, you, are you married, Ryan? No, no, no. Not yet. Not won't yet. be long, I don't think. <laughs> well. <laughs> the men's choir is run by Caroline's top team, Jim, Glenn and Tom. Okay, gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Rock Choir Men's Workshop. Caroline has high hopes for the men and wants them to dazzle the crowds at Wembley. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Gents, please take a seat uh, while I hand you over to uh, the founder and creator of Rock Choir. This is Caroline Redmond Lusher. Never seen this many men in a room before. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I'm wondering how you would feel about performing as a team on the main stage at Wembley for 10 and a half years. This workshop and the next workshop, really the goal is Wembley. You have literally got eight hours of rehearsal between now and Wembley. That's the time pressure we're under. She also wants their performance to be kept a secret from the rock choir women. The other thing, of course, is that you cannot tell your wives, partners, girlfriends, or anyone else that you're doing this. Now, that might cause you a few problems, and that's literally a personal decision from you. You don't want your wives to go and think you're having an affair with somebody or something awful. Awesome. <laughs> when you actually go, no, oh, I'm doing Wembley. But I can tell you what, the buzz you will experience afterwards will be something like you've never experienced before. And you will have 10,000 women screaming for money. <laughs> With only three sessions to master the song, the men need all the practice they can get. It's been a long day, and some of the members are concerned about the dance moves. I just started uh, coming out and I just did one of the moves like this. I thought, oh dear, that's a bit like a Nazi salute. And I thought, no, I don't want that to be misinterpreted. It'd be quite nice if women throw their knickers at us. <laughs> Two rehearsals um, and a room full of men. Mm, not all that coordinated. It could be a struggle. It's two days since Chain Reaction was introduced to Rock Choir's repertoire and it's already ruffling feathers. Do you know, I don't think I can read this out. It's so explicit. Could you please let me know whether Chain Reaction will be one of the songs due to be performed at the end of this term? If so, I will have to decline, as I will not be comfortable singing all about... And what she goes on to say is just so explicit. I went through the lyrics thinking, why would she think it's about all of these explicit things to do with sex in the lyrics? I mean, you know, the second verse is... What else the How does it start? You make me, you make me tremble when your hands go lower. You make me tremble when your hands go lower. That could be 
They're dancing with each other and the hands are going uh, lower on the hip, couldn't it? You taste a little, then you swallow slower. You might be tasting a glass of wine. And then it talks about explosions, you know? And actually... <laughs> Tom's feeling the pressure too. As well as the male choir, he also has the responsibility of getting the teens in shape for Wembley. After their success at the end of term performance, Tom's struggling to get them to concentrate. It's been a real juggling act in terms of, of keeping them interested, but also trying to cope with, with obviously them having to go off and, and do all their exams and stuff, which are hugely important, and they're obviously all under a lot of pressure at home and at school. Wembley's definitely come at the wrong time because I've got an English language exam. Yeah, everyone's English language afterwards. section. Yeah. Everyone our age has an English language exam the next day and then all other exams to follow. I think it's just a bit like that's our last whole free day before exams start. We, we weren't going to go to Rock Choir this week because we had too much on our mind but this is the practice for Wembley so we had to, had to be there. But you need to prove to me today that we can reach that level of performance that we got at Holy Trinity base section. Okay? Now listen, I, you've been, we've been chatting a lot, we've had a laugh, we've had a giggle, and it's been great, but I really need you to focus for me today. We have 10,000 people coming, and you're one of a very small privileged group of people that are going to be performing on stage. Please do not waste that opportunity, and please do not show me up. But more importantly, don't show yourselves up to your friends and family that are coming to watch you. What do you say? Shh. If you stop talking, you'd hear. Rachel's health is also worrying Tom. I think not just me, but the whole choir would be devastated if Rachel couldn't make it up on stage due to ill health. And although she's only one member of the choir, it's, it's, it's a really big deal for her, and it's a really big deal for the choir. It's their favourite song. If we can't do it, it's going to be really bad. 